Insurance companies aren't going to lay over no. and, and just pay out claims. They're yeah. starting to do investigations, and they got like really high-end investigators mm -hmm. from poli former police, former mm -hmm. government uh, uh, authorities, RCMP, yeah. doing these type of investigations. What are you seeing on that end? Like, Are you seeing uh, them dive deep? Yeah, so that's a, that's a really good point because I don't think people understand when they see a fire exactly what's entailed in that entire investigation from like the minute the claims filed to, you know, the rebuild occurring. Um, and we can unpack like a bunch of things. So at the time of a fire, when it comes to investigation, whether it's a homeowner's fire or whether it's one of these developments that's under construction, they will immediately um, interview the homeowner. So if it's if it's some or the potential new the potential homeowner, yeah. So so if it's like a, if it's somebody living in their house right now, they'll after a fire. This happened to us in January. They interview the homeowners and they do a thorough, very thorough interview. Them they'll interview all the neighbors. A very important point as well is they immediately run a credit report. That's like the first thing they come out and say, um, and that's part of their investigation. And, and and to clarify, they do that because they want to see if the person's in trouble. Correct. Right. Like if if somebody bought for a million bucks in 2022 and that house is now worth 800,000. A lot of people don't want to close on that home. So yeah. they have some motivation yes. to do some bad things. Yeah. So these insurance companies are aware of that. They are doing their due diligence and they do credit reports because right. they want to see if the person's got shaky credit, overextended. For sure. And they'll they'll interview those people that so those people that are supposed to be taking that house, they'll interview them as well. And who which, do they interview which, them with? In some instances, if it's a crime, like it's uh, they catch the people like a lot of these sites too have like CCTV, which people I don't think understand. So when they see people light these things up, uh, it turns into a crime investigation. So police are often involved as well. Um, and I think that may catch like I don't think the general public necessarily knows when you see one of these development fires, the, the homeowner who may have done nothing wrong um, could be interviewed by the by law enforcement and the adjuster. So. Um, it's really, really serious stuff. And we're seeing significant impacts on the underwriting side of projects. Okay, so what does that mean? So now a prerequisite for coverage in almost all these situations is closed circuit, closed circuit 24 7 TV, like on site. On site. Okay. And there's a claim um, that an insurance company shared with us on a custom home build that required this. Oh, even on custom homes? Yes. Okay, that required this. The homeowner was not aware that it was required and they had a fire. And the insurance company denied the five, it's a $5 million claim, denied for not adhering to the, um, to the warranty of having uh, uh, fully, fully monitored surveillance and alarm, fire and smoke. So they're doing or, sorry, what they, fire and so they're, they're pushing the envelope. They're saying, hey guys, we'll cover you. You gotta follow A, B, C, and D. And if shit happens, so, do you it's on you. so uh, just so you understand how that plays out, the mortgagee is listed. The insurance company is forced by the mortgagee clause to pay out the mortgagee. They now are going to go sue the builder, the homeowner. The homeowner is claiming that he was never told by the broker. So now the insurance company is also going to sue the broker to try to get the money. Wow. 